Hello, everyone. We're going to um, wait for some more people to join. Um, we'll start just after 11. So thanks for joining us. Okay, so hello, welcome to everybody. We're gonna get started with the webinar. Just a few housekeeping notes before we get started. Um, so please note that you're all on mute. So if you have a question, be sure to use the question tool in the task bar. Um, when I'm talking, Kai is manning the chat app so he can answer your questions and vice versa when he's talking. Um, we'll answer your questions as they come up, but there will also be time at the end for Q&A. The webinar slideshow and a recording of this presentation will be available to view or to share at industry.org and wine.org. And after this webinar, we're gonna follow up with a link to this recording, the presentation, and a couple more supporting documents. So let's get started. I am Christina. I am part of, and Kai is also gonna be talking today on this webinar. We are the marketing team at the Oregon Wine Board. Um, today we're gonna to talk about the um, Oregon Wine Month campaign overview, the point of sale material that's available this year. We're gonna talk about um, consumer and direct to consumer programming, trade programming, and um, we're going to review the Oregon Wine Month Toolkit and the resources available to you through that. And of course, there's always time for question and answer. So we're going to talk about a lot of things today. There's going to be a lot of um, links that we're going to mention and graphics and tools. And as we're going through, just know everything that we mentioned today is available on the industry.oregonwine.org website under marketing. There's an Oregon Wine Month page. If you click that, that's the Oregon Wine Month Toolkit and everything you need can be found there. At the end of this presentation, I will um, take you on a tour through that and make sure that you feel comfortable with where everything is and ask any, answer any questions that you have. So to get started, what is Oregon Wine Month? Um, Oregon Wine Month started in 2012, um, and it was declared by the governor of Oregon, and since then has become increasingly big and loud every, um, even more so every year. So it's really exciting to see the program grow. Um, we celebrate Oregon Wine Month every May, and the objectives of this program are to encourage a period of increased support from distributors restaurants and retailers across the country to create a platform for tactical winery promotions that stimulate sales in all channels and to develop a deeper affinity for Oregon wine by forging an emotional connection with consumers. So the Oregon Wine Board every year produces a suite of POS materials that are available to you and to your accounts and your tasting room. Um, and so we can take a, a second now to go through um, the point of sale materials that are available this year. The, um, these materials are available, as I said, for your distributor. Um, in order for the distributor to receive these, they can fill out a form on the toolkit and in order, um, and if you'd like some of these materials in your tasting room, you can fill out a form on the toolkit as well. Um, for tasting rooms, uh, the POS is available in kits. So each kit is available, um, in, each kit includes four posters, 10 bottleneckers, and five table pens. Your tasting room can order up to two kits. So, in order to receive the POS, we ask that you place your order by March 1st. And we're also communicating with distributors to submit their forms by March 1st as well. The POS will be delivered by the beginning of April. 
This year we're offering 11 by 17 posters and eight and a half by 11 case cards in this graphic style. Um, this is a similar style that we've used in years past. It really pops in busy chain retail environments and um, is really becoming, the brand is really becoming known amongst consumers. New this year are updated photographic posters and case cards. And these are just highlighting new vineyards from, or vineyards from all across Oregon. We're providing neck hangers. So um, two versions of these are available for neck hangers. Um, one actually mentions May as Oregon Wine Month. Um, the other has no mention of May. And so that's available for distributors if they decide to you know, run this program at a different month. New this year, we're gonna be promoting the Oregon Wine Month consumer sweepstakes on these neckers. So we'll be talking more about that sweepstakes, but it's a great way to promote that to consumers in the retail and tasting room environments. Last year, we had over 20,000 people enter the sweepstakes. So it's something that really resonates with consumers. We're offering as well um, skewer cards that can be connected to sticks and stuck amongst case, cases in retail environments as well as, um, in, so chain retailers as well as independent re retailers. These skewer cards are um, touting quotes from wine writers about the virtues of Oregon wine and, and providing facts about our industry. We're also producing two different types of shelf talkers this year. And table tents. So these table tents are great for tasting rooms and more uh, upscale casual restaurants. They're six inches by four inches wide and they can be presented in a, in a standard picture frame if you wanna dress them up a little bit. For the on-premise audience, we have check presenter inserts. So you can, these are not printed, but restaurants can go and download them from the website to, to add to their check presenters when they you know, present the check at their tables to promote Oregon Wine Month. We also have a variety of different sizes for menu and signage templates. So you can use these templates in your tasting room by promoting Oregon Wine Month flights or any kind of specials that you're promoting. These can also be used in restaurants if they're doing an Oregon Wine Month promotion as well. So this is an overview of the, the tasting room POS kit that I mentioned earlier. So again, tasting rooms will receive four posters, two in the graphic style and two in the photographic style, five table tents, and 10 bottle neckers. And again, you can order up to two kits and make sure you, you, do, you fill out the form on the tool kit by March 1st. So I'm gonna hand the, the microphone off to Kai and he's gonna go through the consumer elements of the Oregon Wine Month campaign for this year. Thank you, Christina. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you for bearing with our musical chairs there for a second. Um, <coughs> I'm gonna share our consumer program elements, show you a few examples from years past and lay out the wine board's messaging strategy so you can see what elements and what channels will work best for your business. To support consumer awareness, the wine board will again be running uh, sweepstakes per wine month to win a trip to Oregon wine country. This year's prize uh, includes a tour of Willamette Valley AVAs by air 
um, courtesy of Scott Neal at Corps de Terre, as well as a day of wine tasting in the Eola Amity Hills, dinner in McMinnville, um, a hands-on cheese experience at Briar Rose. It's really going to be a fantastic few days. I wish that I was available or eligible to win, but of course we're not. Um, the sweepstakes will be featured on the bottleneckers that Christina mentioned, um, and of course we will run a digital advertising campaign to raise awareness uh, for the for Wine Month in general, but also um, the sweeps, which is often a sort of keystone or cornerstone of the Wine Month promotion. Um, the objective, obviously, in addition to awareness, is to collect qualified contact information um, for the Wine Board's future programming and messaging. Um, the 2018 sweeps will run from mid-March through the end of May, through the 31st, um, and graphic, downloadable graphics and sample web copy will soon be available on the toolkit um, so you can share this awesome opportunity with your digital channels. Um, as I mentioned, mid-March through May, um, we would love it if uh, each one of your businesses was able to help spread the word, share with your audiences via social and your newsletter, um, help bring people to the Wine Board website where they can see all of the Wine Month activations around the state, um, as I mentioned, the objective is to grow the consumer database for future outreach. And the tools that I mentioned to help you do all those things will, of course, be on the industry site toolkit. Um, the Sweeps is really an easy value add that you can include in existing newsletter messaging or as part of existing um, your existing social media content calendars. Um, to position you for your audience as a resource on um, really wonderful tourism experiences within Oregon. Um, our consumer website experiences its highest traffic of the year in May, not surprisingly, and one of the more visited pages on the site is our consumer events calendar. In addition to high organic traffic, we also drive paid traffic to the calendar throughout April and May. Calendar listings are free for all wine-related events, so please contribute yours and encourage your distributors and accounts to do the same. Um, if you're having a restaurant tasting or your distributor is has reps pouring at Freddy's or something, um, please know that they are more than welcome to also add to the calendar. Um, and just a reminder that even though it's consumer-facing and the calendar is displayed on our consumer website, the form that you use to contribute to the calendar lives on the industry website. Um, and that, of course, is also available in the toolkit. Um, we will be putting out a call for AVA or association or regional events um, ne early next week. Um, we did this started this program last year for the first time, um, and it really gave us an opportunity to feature um, a consortium of wineries and businesses. It gave us a strong um, messaging opportunity with social and media, and it was something that our PR firm last year was able to leverage. Um, so we're repeating the program this year. Um, we're doing this for two reasons. These Multi-winery engagements are great for inspiring new visits, um, and they also provide the wine board and writers and media with events that can be promoted on a broader scale, which is not always possible with individual winery events. If your AVA or other association has a collaborative event in April or May, um, or wants to create one, please let me know. Um, I'll be collecting summaries logos and photos that can be used to build out a unique promotion page within the Oregon Wine Month site, as well as preparing social media promotions for each event. Um, you can send me interest or materials via email. Um, on the slide here, you're seeing some of the participating organizations from um, last year. Uh, some examples of what we had in mind for these collaborative events um, could be a single day tasting event, um, a passport program. As an, I know that you know, 
several of these things already take place and already exist, and we would be happy to slot them into this messaging and programming. Um, but you could also create something unique for May, a tasting room promotion that features wineries in your association with a special price or some in past people have done a charitable donation or two for one tasting. Um, for example, the PDX Urban Wineries group every year has a um, May, early May event um, that they have positioned often as a sort of kickoff to wine month. Um, again, this allows consumers to visit multiple wineries under one roof in one afternoon, which is certainly a strong incentive for um, uh, to attend and also a great way for wineries and businesses to pool resources in that outreach effort. Um, I particularly appreciate that the folks at PDX Urban in this particular tasting offer a six and 12 bottle discount, but they allow consumers to mix and match those six and 12 bottles from all participating wineries, um, which is a really strong incentive for purchase. Um, all these things reduce the barrier to attendance and to purchase. Um, another ongoing community event is the Rome the Rogue. Um, this is a self-guided tour. Uh, if the density of tasting rooms in your region doesn't best support a sort of all under one roof kind of event, this can be a good option. Um, it has the added bonus of sharing not just your wine with visitors, um, but because these sort of self-guided tours invite consumers to each individual winery, you're also sharing your tasting room um, and winery space. Um, for those that do choose to participate in the this collaborative program, um, we will be putting promotional muscle behind these events. Um, as I mentioned, there's a specific page for these events on the Oregon Wine Month website, which helps differentiate them and call them out from the general events calendar. Um, we promote the, that page and specifically those events to our consumer audience via social media and our consumer newsletter. And uh, as mentioned, we include these events as part of our media outreach um, because they have, uh, they're easy to grab onto um, they're easy to craft a story out of, um, and they offer some diversity that sometimes individual events don't always offer. Okay, so those are the consumer-facing elements your business can engage with. Let's look at the messaging flow the OWB will be taking to promote them. We're using a phased based approach to consumer messaging and promotion leading up to wine month. Um, the campaign will start in early March, seeding the idea of wine month and building some momentum for brand Oregon with the introduction of the sweepstakes, strong photography, and a general increase in publishing. We'll move on to a bit of inspiration, inviting people to think about visiting um, with mention and solicitation of the touring guide, both physical and the digital flipbook, as well as our online trip planning tool at visit.oregonwine.org. Next, the messaging will focus directly on what's happening in wine regions around the state and in restaurants to get people out to drink Oregon wine, both at wineries and participating businesses. And we aim to keep the conversation going in June by messaging contacts we captured throughout the campaign. Um, again, all of this is to drive traffic to OregonWine.org where uh, for, for two principal reasons. One, to share all of the additional elements and opportunities for Wine Month, but also to capture contact information so that we can continue to message and continue to share brand Oregon with folks um, in June and well beyond. Like last year, we focused almost all of our advertising to digital and social channels. Um, this allows us to be far more precise in who we reach to track our campaign performance and to make adjustments so that our spend is as effective as it can be. Um, We'll be running a robust social campaign and advertising with the properties that you see on this slide. 
Additionally, we have some other outreach channels. Um, for those who attended the symposium um, or maybe have already received them in your business, you probably know that the 2018 Touring Guide um, began arriving at wineries and businesses um, last week or so. Um, so that will be out in the market going forward, but in May um, we will begin a rack distribution program with a provider called Certified Folder that will place the touring guide in 700, more than 700 rack locations in Oregon and Washington to create a sense of saturation for those out in wine country um, in May. Um, it, the, the touring guide is designed to both incentivize tasting room visitation and facilitate that visitation. Um, additionally, and this is a new program for 18, 10,000 copies will be mailed directly to Seattle Met Magazine subscribers packaged with their May subscription. Um, those subscribers will receive their copies uh, in early April, as the schedule for um, subscription goes, allowing plenty of time to make plans to visit Oregon during May. Um, the May issue of Wine Spectator will contain the second Oregon Wine co-op advertisement. The first is currently out in the March issue. Um, repeating, and the May um, will repeat what we think to be the success of the March edition. Um, this May issue will feature nine Oregon wineries and an invitation from the OWB to readers to explore Oregon Wine Month elements online. In addition to the print run, the promotion also has an online landing page and will be included in an e-newsletter to nearly 50,000 subscribers. In addition to our in-house efforts uh, orchestrated by our communications manager, Sally, we're once again working with a public relations firm that specializes in food and beverage here in Portland to secure Wine Month opportunities and amplify programming. Like last year, Little Green Pickle, uh, excuse me, last year, Little Green Pickle helped place coverage in the Oregonian, 1859 Magazine, Portland Mercury, and numerous other TV, print, and radio spots. Um, we are happy to have them and enjoy working with them and their results. So all of these efforts, the messaging and the various channels we use to convey that messaging um, are designed to bring people to OregonWine.org and specifically the Wine Month home on our consumer website so that we can expose people to the litany of great events that are going on around the state and get them out into wine country, into restaurants, into participating retailers. So now that we know what's available, um, let's take a few, let's take a quick look at some examples. There was a question that came in about um, the sweepstakes. So someone wondered, do we need to get OWB's approval for use of sweepstakes on our POS and or websites? No, we would love for you to promote the sweepstakes however it best fits um, your content calendar and your messaging. Another question, how were the nine wineries selected for the Wine Spectator May issue? Um, they were not so much selected in that they um, reached out and or responded to solicitation directly from Wine Spectator. Um, we messaged the advertising opportunity both in our bi-weekly Grapevine newsletter as well as an individual standalone email that was sent to our entire marketing newsletter list specifically about the opportunity. We did the same process for the March issue. Um, and in the May case, those nine wineries were the nine, um, I guess, first nine that elected to pursue the opportunity and reached out directly to Wine Spectator. Um, other than subsidizing the spread and providing the sort of banner messaging, um, which in March was about ordering a touring guide and in May will be about exploring wine month. Um, we here at the OWB don't have anything to do with the selection process or the curation of the wineries that are included. Um, if you are interested, um, it is extremely likely that we will be repeating this um, co-op promotion again in the fall. Um, there is no more specific date set than that, um, but we've got a lot of great response from it um, and, and think that it's worth, worth, continue, worth um, 
continuing and offering to the wineries. Because of the co-op nature, I'm sure as you can imagine, the barrier to entry is very low compared to general wine spectator ad rates. Um, so if you are interested, uh, please keep an eye out. We will message that opportunity similarly via the grapevine and standalone blast once the dates are secured. We'll also mention that on the um, the Oregon Wine Closed Facebook group, the the Oregon Wine Industry Collaboration Space. So the Grapevine and the web the Facebook page you can check to stay up to date. Cool. Thanks for the questions. Um, so back to the deck, um, we have a quick example here from Cathedral Ridge of taking one of the customizable templates that we offer um, to communicate unique ideas to promote purchase. In this instance, they use the template to print a recipe and a suggested pairing, not surprisingly, one of their wines um, to match with the recipe. These templates are available in a variety of sizes um, and in a variety of formats, PowerPoint and PDF, um, so that they're easy to work with based on your skill set or your experience or your um, programs at your office computer. Um, here we see a um, tasting room special um, using wine month materials to sell something different while offering something exclusive. This is uh, the Dundee Hills Passport pictured here. Uh, family cards, as they called them, offered two for one tastings at three wineries. Um, I like to point this, uh, use this example from a past year because these sorts of promotions are relatively quick to implement with relatively low overhead. Um, so if you and your neighbors uh, find occasion to, to collaborate on something like this, they're usually pretty quick to turn around with pretty low overhead. Um, and don't forget, of course, you can list promotions like this in our general events calendar through May for added exposure. Um, I know you're all familiar with the possibilities, uh, social media here, I won't spend any time on this. Um, just to say the toolkit has graphics for use in this realm, we have both um, complete graphics that you can just download and post with no effort, and then we also have um, logos and templates that you could overlay onto existing photography, as you see in the Fairsing post there, um, or templates that you can customize if you'd like to get a little more involved. Don't forget, hashtag Oregon Wine Month. Um, <laughs> please uh, use it. Um, you can like I just said, download templates with logos and add your own branding and create material that more seamlessly integrates all of these elements for a sort of more holistic look. Um, it bears repeating one more time that all these visual instances add up to a saturation of awareness and that awareness helps inspire demand. Um, for your mailing lists, same idea. There's plenty of graphics available in the toolkit for download. Um, whether that's an inclusion in a, a sort of short blurb that links to a blog post, or as you can see, an ERAS letter there on the right. Um, that's actually a completely custom mention of Oregon Wine Month. That's not a toolkit element. Um, they went, they decided to take uh, the promotion and incorporate it um, directly into their style. Um, obviously, you don't need me to tell you that your mailing list and club lists are a powerful tool. Um, so please share wine month opportunities with them. So what can you do? Um, with your AVA or association, you can plan a wine month event, month long passport or other special activity to bring out visitors. You can tell your mailing list that wine month is coming and that all month long is a great time to visit wine country. You can plan a special event or a promotion you can please submit all of your planned events to the consumer calendar, find the link in the toolkit. And as Christina mentioned, uh, POS materials for your tasting rooms, uh, orders are due by March 1, so you'll have them in house early April, the beginning of April. Um, and again, hashtag, hashtag, share your efforts on social media and hashtag Oregon Wine Month. Uh, and with that, I'm gonna return it to Christina. But wait, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so now, thank you, Kai. We're going to transition to talking about some of the trade pro programming we have going on uh, leading up to this May. We have quite a bit on offer for distributors, restaurants, and retailers. We, as I mentioned before, we're printing and shipping POS to distributors across the country. We are providing digital graphics for customization. New this year is an Oregon Wine Month Masterclass that's going to be given by Bree Boskov, who is the Oregon Wine Board's Master of Wine and Education Manager. I'll talk a little bit more about that. We're promoting the Oregon Wine Getaway Sweepstakes on POS for uh, primarily off-premise off retailers. We're again partnering with Open Table to engage restaurants during Oregon Wine Month. And we're running the Oregon Wine Month Rep of the Year competition for <clears throat> distributor reps in Oregon and Washington. So we're gonna dive more into those programs now. So as I mentioned, new this year is the Oregon Wine Month Masterclass. That masterclass is going to be on April 10th at 10 a.m. given by Brie Boskov. And it'll be live and recorded as well. This, is going, this webinar is complementary to any trade participating in Oregon Wine Month. So that can be your distributor sales reps, it can be um, your key restaurant buyers that you have relationships with. Um, so it's you know, leading up to May, a good opportunity for them to learn about Oregon and maybe you know, learn something new to teach their staff to get ready for May. Topics will span climate, the soils, and the ABAs of Oregon, as well as key selling points. So that um, the sign up for that webinar is on the Oregon One Month Toolkit. So it's not too early to start pitching that to your trade contacts. Um, and I'll, I'll show you exactly where that is later. For on-premise programming, just a quick review of the, the POS materials that's available to that sector. We, again, this year created a five ways to get your restaurant involved in Oregon Wine Month. This is a really great selling tool when you're going into restaurant accounts or when your distributor reps are going into restaurant accounts. It, makes, it spells out the Oregon Wine Month program very simply and provides five key action items that buyers can take to get involved. So that can be downloaded on the Oregon Wine Month Toolkit and you yourselves can use it or you can share it with your distributors. So again, this year we're partnering with Open Table in Oregon only to um, celebrate Oregon Wine Month. This, if a restaurant signs, if a restaurant is signed up with Open Table and they commit to featuring a flight of three Oregon wines throughout the course of May, they will be promoted through the Open Table platform which has an enormous consumer database, as well as through our marketing channels. If a restaurant is not signed up with Open Table, but they still want to feature a flight of three Oregon wines, or if they want to get creative and do something else, we will promote them on the Oregon Wine Month website and through our communication channels. Um, but if they're not signed up with Open Table, they won't be promoted through that platform. Um, I So the sign up form, for restaurants to participate is on the Oregon Wine Month Toolkit. And I mentioned this program is only in Oregon. However, if you are in a market outside of Oregon, we can look into um, developing a partnership. So if in Seattle, if you're able to sell, sign up at least 10 restaurant accounts to participate, let me know and we can talk to Open Table about opening the program in that market. So if you have more questions about that, let me know. But right now, it's only in Oregon. For any restaurant on the Oregon Wine A-list that is participating in Oregon Wine Month, they're eligible to receive a $50 Visa gift card to be used for a server incentive. So if they sign up to do a flight of Oregon wine or if they're doing something else, um, have them sign up using that form on the Oregon Wine Month Toolkit, and I'll send out a Visa gift card. It's as simple as that. And we actually had, 
I think 30, 20 to 30 restaurants that participated in this program last year and received really good feedback. So be sure to take advantage of that. As Kai mentioned, all events, um, restaurant or retail events can be promoted on the Oregon Wine Month event calendar. And so that's a great way to feature your winemaker dinners or anything else you're doing. So we have a really long list of things that you can do to engage the on-premise for Oregon Wine Month. Make sure you download that one-page sheet, the sales sheet for restaurants. Um, pitch a flight of Oregon wine to a restaurant on open table for the Oregon Wine Month flight promotion. You could develop, so I talked about the Oregon Wine A-list server incentive. You could also consider developing your own server incentive for a handful of your key restaurant accounts. You can set up a winemaker dinner and make sure to include that information on the event calendar. Make sure you share the promotion materials with your distributor to help sell, to help them sell the program. And make sure to invite buyers and staff to attend the Oregon Wine Month Masterclass on April 10th. For off-premise <clears throat> programming, again, this is the POS that we're offering. The sweepstakes, as I mentioned before, will be promoted through the, the bottleneckers this year to help with that. Uh, the, messaging of the sweepstakes. And the Oregon Wine Board is featuring a display competition in Washington and in Oregon for Safeway, Fred Meyer, and New Season chain retailers. So I've met with the buyers. I'm working um, to promote this program. Every year it's very popular. But um, for, each, for each chain retailer, the best Oregon Wine Month display. Uh, the wine steward that sets up the, be sets up the best Oregon Wine Month display will win an IPNC ticket for this summer. So it is a really huge incentive for buyers. And um, I do a ride along at the end of May every month. And it's really fun to see how creative these displays get every year. We do offer for Safeway and Fred Meyer because they're really large chains, we offer follow-up um, prizes as well, second and third place prizes. New this year, we are offering a display competition for any, for aimed more towards independent retailers. So we will do a, a call for um, entries at the end of the month and they can send in pictures of their displays for the chance to win a Salto decanter, which are very fancy and lovely. We'll be awarding two of those. So for off-premise, as I mentioned, I'm in contact with the, the key, with the, the main buyers for each of those chains. Um, but I would encourage you to really activate the independent chain retail or the independent retailers. You could schedule tastings with them, submit planned events that you're doing with them. Make sure to share the POS materials, and they are more than welcome to join our masterclass webinar on April 10th. So this year, thank you all so much for your hard work. In, um, in November, we did a webinar about how to pitch Oregon Wine Month to distributors across the country. And you guys really took it and ran with it. We have over 40 distributors in 14 states signed up to participate in Oregon Wine Month. Last year, we only did things in, we had a couple of distributors outside of Oregon in Massachusetts. Otherwise, it was pretty much just Oregon. So it's been a huge growth this year. So thank you. To see the full list of distributors participating and to see if your distributor is on that list, you can um, go to the Oregon Wine Month Toolkit and um, see that list there. If you missed the, the webinar in November and would like to see it, you can also click a link to, the, to view the presentation there. It's a little late to start now, but nothing's impossible. So I believe in you and uh, check it out and we can see what we can do if you 
um, are a little late to the game and still want to do something. So all the, the distributors who have signed up particip to participate, I've been in communication with them. They hopefully know that the POS order form is due March 1st. If you see your distributor on that list, you could ping them and just make sure that they have their order in. Um, the order form can, for them can be found on the toolkit. The Oregon Wine Board is excited to again offer the Oregon Wine Month Rep of the Year incentive for May. We're offering two to two winners um, tickets to um, it's a we're offering two winners a VIP package to the IPNC. So um, an on premise one on premise and one off premise winner will receive a package that includes three nights of accommodations on Linfield campus. Two tickets to Counterculture, the IPNC kickoff event the night before the night before at Anime, and then two tickets to IPNC. So it's a great way for them to attend and to bring uh, a partner or a friend and enjoy the weekend. So that incentive is open to all Washington and Oregon sales reps. So at the end of May, we'll do a call for entries for that competition. And the form is, will be, again, on the toolkit. Um, but we really encourage you to, um, to submit if you have a rep that's going above and beyond, or um, you, know, you know that someone's been really crushing it, I encourage you to nominate someone to be considered for that. Last year, a rep from Young's one and an off-premise rep from Oregon Brand Management one. And reading their entries, it was really incredible to see how much they were hustling. So um, what can you do to, stimulate, to um, engage your distributors? Uh, tell them about, you know, make sure you tell them about the Rep of the Year competition and know that they're in the running. You can download the um, trade materials and all the things that are the tools that are available in the toolkit. Make sure you invite them to the masterclass webinar on April 10th. Make sure you're in touch with them and have, you know, ask for an opportunity to present to their team leading up to Oregon Wine Month and consider what types of sales goals that you can set for your distributor during the month of May um, or the second quarter. And don't forget about the resource studio. The Resource Studio um, is a hub for Oregon wine stats, maps, and facts. There's a bunch of downloadable resources. It's a really great um, tool for staff that might, for restaurants or distributors who might be doing a staff training on Oregon Wine Month leading up, to, or Oregon Wine leading up to Oregon Wine Month. So make sure that they know that that resource is available to them, and it really um, could make preparing for a, a trade for a staff training, very easy. So I'm gonna hop off now. We keep mentioning the toolkit and I know the suspense is killing you if you haven't seen it yet. Um, so I'm gonna give a quick tour of the, the types of tools that are available on the toolkit. So we went to um, industry.oregonwine.org. This is the homepage. To navigate to the toolkit, you can go to the Oregon Wine Month page under marketing. And again, this is everything that you need to be successful, I hope, for Oregon Wine Month. So here is a index of the tools that are available. So you can you know, click the link and it'll take you directly to it or just navigate through the page. Um, so first up here, we have the, the point of sale material. All those slides that I went through that highlight the POS that we developed are from this presentation here. So you can, on your free time, scan through these um, or send them to your account if, to, to share what's available. This here is where you can order POS. So the distributors can place their order here, tasting rooms here, and do that by March 1st. I mentioned that there are POS, so we're printing and shipping POS, but you can also download the graphics as well. So we're continuing, we're continually adding to this resource, but there are some available now. So you can just click the link 
um, here and, and download it um, and print on your own. You have the, the secure cards and stuff like that. Uh, this presentation, so this section here is for trade tools. This is the presentation of everything available in the distributor kit and what's available for that. So you can flip through or share that. Um, here's that restaurant program one sheet you can download and share with your accounts. Um, this restaurant sign up form is where restaurants can sign up to participate in Oregon Wine Month, whether they decide to offer a flight or you know some other promotion, this is that form. Event submission form is where you can add things like uh, retail tastings or whatever to the event calendar. The masterclass webinar sign up, this is where uh, trade can sign up for that webinar. Link to the resource studio, this is an overview of the retail program. And this is a link for the Rep of the Year nomination form. So, <coughs> excuse me. So here you, you can just see there's a rich um, toolkit here that you know really provides a lot of support and tools available for you. And this very last link here is the list of just participating distributors. I think that's it. Do we have any questions? Yeah, we just had a question come in asking um, if we can create a single page sell sheet similar to the five ways to get your restaurant involved for out of state distributors that are not eligible for open table. Um, yeah, let's talk about that. I, um, I will follow up with you after this, Jennifer, on that. Are there any other questions? No, nothing. Any any good jokes? <laughs> comments? Criticisms? Okay. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Scott. Thanks, Susie. Okay. Well, um, if you have any questions that you think of later, feel free to email us. Um, well, you can email Kai <laughs> and he'll be able to help you. Um, but thank you. Uh, no, but really, um, it's just our emails are just our names at oregonwine.org. Um, and you'll be receiving a follow up email from us with the recording and tools that we talked about today. So thank you all for joining. And if you found this helpful, um, as Christina just mentioned, you'll get a link to the recording in your inbox. Um, please, we invite you to share it with others who might not have been available this morning. Thank you so much. <laughs>